everybody. Happy Friday night. Welcome to my Zen Den. I'm so happy that you could join me tonight. My name is Mandy Van Havermitt and I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! from Great Eagle, Minnesota. Um, tonight I am going to do the last of my fall cards for the season. Next, um, my next live I'm going to start with Christmas cards and winter cards and things like that. So, but I saved the best for last. Uh, the All About Autumn Designer Series paper. This paper is phenomenal. Uh, it is out of stock right now. Uh, as of today, what is today? The 7th of October. Um, it should be coming in back in stock next week. So watch the online store next week. It should be coming back in stock. And so you can get your hands on some at that point. So without further ado, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to keep talking about how I'm going to use this paper. And I'm going to tell you, this paper is just so cool, and I love it when Designer Series paper does the work for you. Um, and this totally does. So, uh, oops, there, sorry, put my hand in the way. Uh, this paper totally does the work for you, which is awesome. Um, it is, so it's a six by six paper, all about autumn. It includes the colors Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Moody Mauve, Mossy Meadow, Pretty Peacock, Pumpkin Pie, and Very Vanilla. And I'm just going to go through the papers here with you. Um, on one side, it's 6 by 6 paper. On one side, it's a beautiful image. Um, and on the other side, all of them have beautiful, um, it's like a gold image um, embossing on it. So pretty. And they're just, I mean, they are so, such beautiful pa pages, papers. Um love them and this one is copper clay with a gold embossing some beautiful pumpkins and gourds pretty peacock on the back like a corduroy kind of with some beautiful I think that's uh, pretty peacock and uh, moody mauve I love it and wood paper paper that's got wood design on it it doesn't get any better than that this looks like my driveway if you'd like to know. <laughs> I love it. Fall just makes me so happy. And the these papers, like I said, they do the work for you. Oh, I got two there. Another book page there. So let's get stamping. Like I said, it's going to be simple stamping tonight because we're going to let the paper do the work for us. So, oh, and I should tell you too, I'm using the So Sincere stamp set. This is a stamp set that is also in the uh, uh, September to December mini catalog. Great, great sentiments. You're in my heart and prayers just for you. So very proud. Hope you're feeling better soon. So thankful for you. Hope your day is a happy one. Your kindness is so appreciated. Be grateful for what you have and be proud of who you are. Just love spending time with you. Knowing you brings joy to my heart. And then there's this happy birthday. That's a different shaped happy birthday. So that's a lot of fun. So, and that is a red rubber stamp set. So let's get stamping here. This is going to be our first card. Seriously, does it get any better than that? So pretty. I just love it. So what we're going to use is a four and a quarter by 11 piece of copper clay. And then we're, I'm going to show you how to score that. Uh, we're going to score it at four and one, four and a quarter inches and five and a half inches. We're going to be making a book binding card. So, and then I need a piece of four and an eighth by four and an eighth early espresso and another piece of four and an eighth by four and an eighth. I lied. Four by four, very vanilla. See, I should be going in my thing here in my line. A piece of one and an eighth by four and an eighth early espresso also. Um, the DSP I'm going to be using is this piece of designer series paper here and we're going to cut the image out of that so I need a piece of one by four designer series paper and I'm going to use the back and then a piece of four by four designer series paper and then a four by four for the inside of very vanilla and then a one by two and a half piece of very vanilla so let's pull out my trimmer here and I do something when I'm going to like be scoring specifically scoring I take my blade out because I'm so used to using the blade that I will forget and I don't want to forget and I've done it a million times so we just don't let myself do it um, we're going to score this 
at four and a quarter, and we're going to score it at five and a half. Okay, so that's going to make our book binding fold. So a book binding fold is actually like that right there. So this piece here is together. So then while I've got my trimmer out, I'll put my blade back in. Let's cut our piece of paper. So the cool thing about this paper is you can take whichever part you want out of it. So what I did is I kind of eyeballed it. I think I put it at about four and a half, I think. And so now I need my piece of designer series paper to be four inches wide, so four inches high. So I'm going to line that up at four inches. So I've got a strip there. And I can use all of these strips because they've got this really cool color on the back, right? So now I'm just going to center it to where I think I'd like my picture. So let's go four and three quarters because that looks pretty. And so we'll line that up at four. And that will be our card picture, our uh, focal point on our card. So it's a little different than this one. I think I probably moved it up a little higher, but that's okay. They're so pretty, right? It doesn't even matter. Okay, and then while I've got this out, I need a piece of designer series paper that is an inch wide. I will take this piece here by four. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's four inches long already. So I'm just going to cut that at one inch. All right, so we're done with our trimmer. I hope that made sense to everybody how I trimmed that. So I've got some pieces of scraps here. I have got so many different ways to use those scraps. We're gonna keep those for later. All right, so we'll grab our tape runner, our stamp and seal, and I'm going to create my book binding first. So I'm just going to, don't be stingy on your um, adhesive to keep that shut because you definitely want to keep that shut. If you wanted to put some kind of ribbon in this, into this part, make sure you seal it in first, right? So you wrap it first and then seal it down. All right, for real, this is quite possibly the simplest card I've ever done on a live. We're going to adhere this down onto the early espresso. And it's just a little bit bigger and all around. So that piece will go right there. And then this gets adhered down onto this piece of early espresso. And now we're going to put those right down onto our card base. I think copper clay is one of the best fall colors I have ever used. I think it's so pretty. It ranks right there with Cajun Craze, and it goes with so much stuff. Awesome. I'm just going to line that up, up and down. You would think. All right, there we go. So... Now, I'm going to use the, I'm going to be using copper clay ink, and I'm going to grab my little piece here. Um, my, that is, I should put that, there. I should put that there for you guys. Um, my inch by two and a half inches, and I'm going to just stamp straight down. So open up our copper clay and just tap, tap, tap. And I want to show you too, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Stampin' Up! Um, ink pads, but they're a foam pad. So when you ink up your stamp pad, you don't have to press super hard because this surface is actually, it's spongy. It's a sponge. So you just have to tap it lightly and that's how you prevent getting ink all around. It's going to give you a better impression and it's going to make your cleanup a lot less. Um, it's going to, um, what's the word I want to say? Not reserve your ink, but it's going to save your ink so you're not wasting it um, by rubbing it off onto your cleaner pad. I, most of the ink is gone now, so something to keep in mind. Just tap, tap. 
when you're using the foam pads. We'll put our, I'm not put a, put, gonna put any sentiments on the inside. On the inside of a thank you card, I like to leave them blank because I like to write inside my thank you cards. Um, ribbon, there it is. So they're, um, along with the suite that comes with the paper, there's some coordinating ribbon and it comes in a two pack. Um, it is out of stock right now, but some really nice natural ribbon and then some beautiful coppery ribbon. So what I did, let's see here. I'm just going to put a few pieces of adhesive on the back. And then I'm making a Z is all I'm going to do. So we put that down. I kind of loop it back like so, and then I loop it back again. Kind of trying to make it even, but it doesn't have to be perfect because it is kind of be, it's supposed to be kind of shabby too. Shabby looking, right? So we'll trim that off. And I'm going to trim this one just a little shorter too because it was a little longer. Um, there we go. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So I'm going to put that, I'm basically going to center it right there. I might, I could put it there. Nah, we're going to put it down. Okay, so where's our dimensionals? And you can put that, those dimensionals right down on top of that ribbon. It will stick nicely. Just give it a good firm press. And there you go. That's it. That is the card. Super, like seriously, this paper does the work for you. Super pretty. Love that. So that's card number one. All right. Card number two. Again, I'm going to be using the same stamp sets. Um, a different piece of designer series paper. I'll be using this designer series paper. And this is the card we're going to make. On this one, I did emboss it uh, with the leaf, um, the falling leaves embossing folder, which is online. It's carried over from last year. It was in last year's fall catalog, um, but it is in the online store currently also. So on the online exclusives. So what I'm going to use is a piece of five and a half by eight and a half mossy metal and that's scored right down the middle at four and a quarter and then I've got a piece of early espresso and that is four by five and a quarter uh, and then I'm going to cut my DSP I'm going to end up with a piece of one and a quarter by five a piece of one and a quarter by four and a half and a piece of one and a quarter by four and then I'm going to use a two inch circle punch um, if you don't have the punch I the punch is also from the online store um, However, if you have uh, dies or a different circle, that is perfect. And then for the inside, I've got a piece of very vanilla four by five and a quarter. So let's cut our cardstock. So again, I'm just finding the side that I think is the prettiest. So I like this the best. So we're going to one and a quarter that, a one and a quarter inch strip. Another strip at one and a quarter and then one more at one and a quarter we'll set this aside to use for another project so this one I would like at five so I'm going to cut off just an inch this one I would like at four and a half so I'm going to actually cut this part off because it's not it's not the part that I want I'm going to take the pretty parts and then no this part I'm going this part this one I'm going to use because I'm using the back that's going to be my four and a half I know what I'm talking about this one I'm going to cut off majority of it that's going to be four so I'm cutting off another half inch there we go so like I said you can do a dry embossing with an embossing folder you don't have to we're keeping this simple today so I am going to just be doing some simple stamping that means no embossing folder you can always step up or step down your card making 
every creation is your very own. You don't have, there are no rules. So here again, we're going to be doing some crazy easy card building here. So I'm just lining that up, making it straight. And then this one is going to lay right on top of that. I lied. This one's going to lay right on top of that. And this one is going to go just like that. Isn't that pretty? Simple, right? I mean, and these, these papers work so well together with the um, foil patterns on there. Just so cool. And then we'll put this one down. Perfect. All right, so we'll put that onto our card base. And I've got my mossy metal here. It just, the fall colors are so phenomenal. It looks so good together. I love it. All right, so now I'm going to pull in my mossy metal ink pad. And I've got the saying, um, the stamp that says, be grateful for what you have, be proud of who you are. I've got an idea for who to send this card to. I've got a couple ideas of who to send this card to. Beautiful. All right, so I've got my two inch circle punch. So with a punch, and especially when you're using a red rubber stamp, um, the best thing to do is to punch first, or I'm sorry, stamp first, and then you can line your punch up to um, get it centered in there just so perfectly. And if it's too hard to hold on to it, um, to, for you to punch if it's just a little bit too heavy, you can line it up, sit it on the, on your desk or on your work surface and then pinch it just so it, just so it's holding so you can't move it and then punch straight down. Just push it with your hand. All right. So this here, I am going to off center it just a little bit, grab some dimensionals, simple card, right? Love simple. Simple and stunning. I'm going to, I could center it if I wanted to. I'm going to put it down just a little lower because I think that would look nice. Perfect. All right, let's put our inside in. And if you wanted to put a piece of trim on there, you so could, however you wanted to. I think I might be making some scrappy cards though with all of that foiled paper. It's going to be awesome. Kind of excited to use my scraps. All right. So there is card number two. Super simple, right? So these are the two cards that we made tonight. And then I made some other ones because once I started playing with the paper, I just kept on going and going and going. Uh, so I want to share those with you. Um, these cards, I used the Autumn Leaves um, stamp set, and that's part of the suite. Um, this one here, this is made with the Designer Series paper. These two leaves, maple leaves, are cut from scrap, and this was a piece of the Designer Series paper. And then I um, heat embossed with Early Espresso, which I think that just turned out so beautiful. Love that. Um, and then this one here, kind of a bit of a fun fold. I used another one of the... Um, landscape kind of pictures of a forest uh, with a grateful heart and it's kind of a fun fold I love how that turned out here again I used just a scrap of the uh, mossy metal with that and then uh, with some of those book um, book papers I thought what an awesome opportunity to use the in the moment stamp set with that girl reading the book so I stamped that on very vanilla and then I used a blending brush and I just blended really quick. I brought in a little bit more um, early espresso ink and I just blended it nicely. And it looks kind of like a sepia tone. I love it. Um, put it on there with that the book um, designer series paper. You're always so good to others. Be good to yourself too. Love that card. Um, so I've seen some really neat cards made with the book, uh, the book designer series paper and the in the moment stamp set. So. 
that's all I've got for you tonight. I'll flip the camera back around. That paper is awesome. I I love it too. It's, I think, my favorite item maybe in the um, mini catalog because it is just so pretty in person. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so very much for joining me. I won't be here next weekend, next Friday night. I am going crafting for a weekend with some of my best girlfriends. So I'm excited for that. Uh, so I will be back the following week and we are going to shift gears into Christmas and into the holiday season. So until then, I will see you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.